there's so much interest in my painting my RV cabinets that I'm going to tell you how I do it. My whole RV is oak, like most people's, and what I do first is wash the entire cabinet really well, and I wash it with Awesome, which is at the dollar store for one dollar, and it does anything and cleans anything that's washable. Next step, I took all the knobs off, cleaned all the hinges, WD-40 them, so they're all maintained. I'm using on the trim right here, straight out of the jar from the Plaster Paint Company, which you'll find online to tell you a local retail store, Java, which is a really, really pretty, as you can see, kind of coppery brown. And that one's straight out of the jar with um, a small paintbrush. And I just go, went along and I did all the trim on all the cabinets. It's a water-based paint until you put your final coat of wax on. So as you get it up on your oak and whatnot, you can just wipe that off. And my next step, I'm gonna do a wash with a gray chalk paint. So I'll come back and show you how to do that when I'm finished with this. Okay, what I didn't tell you guys before I started this is that there's no need to sand or prep anything other than having your piece of wood really clean. You can see that the oak finish is on here, still really shiny. And there's nothing else you have to do unless it just makes you feel better, you know, to do it. Okay, so as I do this wash, and I've loaded up, focus this a little better, loaded up my sponge, you're going to blot it on your paper towel before you start to do your wash. Now here you can do it as thick or as thin as you want to do it. And you don't have to do a wash, you can do a full solid paint, but I wanted the oak to show through. I'll come back and I'll show you guys what this looks like when I'm done. Okay, I finished my wash. And on some of these cabinets, I also washed the inside with a black and I wanted to make it look like different real wood. So I made sure I took it in distress, took a lot off. And now we're ready to wax. I put one coat of wax on and I wanted to show you real quick how I do it. This is the brush that you need, good brush for wax. Now you can use a Johnson's paste wax too, but I am using from the Plaster Company. PlasterPaintCompany.com is where you can find out about this stuff. I'm using a liquid wax, and I love this stuff. There's no polishing, buffing, letting it dry, or waiting for it. You just take your brush and all you do is just put it on. And it's not a polyurethane either. It is a liquid wax. Okay, so you put it on. It dries within minutes. And you just brush it. Make sure you don't, you know, leave your goops like this or you'll have a big dried goop there. Go with the grain of the wood. Always, those little streaks will level out and melt down in. And then when you do up in here, let me find my finger here. Up in here, I go back with a smaller brush. And that. All right, here's the refrigerator and the cabinet next to it that I've done in the chalk paint. I think it turned out really lovely. I did our table top in a lavender chalk paint. I did the beam that goes all the way around in a cream chalk paint, which I think turned out really lovely too. Then I did the cabinet drawers in the desk. There's 
there's a close-up of that beam I did. All right, these are the mirrored cabinets. Did a light gray wash on the outside. Go to the solid wood cabinets. I did a dark wash on the inside. Changed the knobs to black. There's a couple more mirrored ones and another beam that I did in the chalk. And then the kitchen. And we left the oak behind because we thought it just looked really sharp and just really accented the cabinets. The drawers in the cabinets. Just look really super nice. And that's what happens when you step out of the box, so to speak, and try something different so that you have experimented and had a lot of fun with your chalk paint and your liquid wax. Happy painting!